Hello everybody, my name is Karima Megar. I'm, I will present you uh, some application of hyperspectral imaging to predict YAM quality traits. This presentation is carried out with the contributions of Fabrice Davrieux, Lia Ollier, Julien Ricci, Christian Mestre, and Joel Grabulos. The outline of this presentation, I will start to explain what is hyperspectral imaging. Second, I will show you the main steps for hyperspectral images analysis. And finally, I will show you some examples of application of hyperspectral imaging on YAM. So what is hyperspectral imaging? Hyperspectral imaging combines spectroscopic and imaging techniques to enable direct identification of different components and their special distribution in the tested sample. A hyperspectral image has a 3D dimension. Each pixel in hyperspectral image represents one spectrum. One and one of strategic advantage over classic, classical spectroscopy like near infrared spectroscopy is that it allows for the special visualization of different biochemical co constituent of the sample. The main steps for hyperspectral images analysis uh, first is the image acquisition by using speaking. Uh, FX17 hyperspectral camera. The second one is the selection of reg region of interest by uh, creating the binary mask. The third one is unfolding of the hyperspectral image from 3D dimensions to 2D dimension spectral matrix. And the last one is the application of statistical analysis uh, like a chemometric method to, to extract relevant information from the data. Now I will detail each of these steps. The first step is the image acquisition by using Speakim FX70 hyperspectral camera. Here we have equipment of a hyperspectral camera. In one we have the camera, two the lens, in three we have halogen lamps, four we have mobile uh, sample holder and in five we have a laptop equipped with software for image acquisition and settings setting of uh, parameter of acquisition the spectral range is uh, of this camera is between 932 to 1721 nanometers with uh, 224 bands the spectral resolution is one on uh, is eight nanometer the distance between the camera and the sample is 24 cm and the scanning speed is 8.3 mm per second. And, and now I will show you how we did the acquisition of a hyperspectral image. The acquisition starts by the acquisition of um, instrumental noise image and then the acquisition of uh, of a white reference image and then in the last the acquisition of uh, the the image of samples the the the, the, the image of uh, instrumental noise and white reference will be used to correct the image of uh, sample and in the end of acquisition, the, the scanner go to the first position. For the second uh, steps, uh, which is the selection of the region of interest, uh, by creating a, a binary mask, as I said that the in hyperspectral image has the cube shape three of three dimensions, the first the, the two first dimensions x y uh, is the are the the, the special uh, dimensions or pixel dimensions the third dimension said is the wavelength uh, dimensions which is the number of wavelength uh, equal to 224 in our uh, case each plane uh, in this 
um, each plane in this uh, hyperspectral image represent one image acquired on in one hem one uh, wavelength for the for the selection of region of interest we uh, use uh, the image at 1230 uh, nanometers and we apply uh, uh, algo uh, algorithm to for the segment segmentation of this image and we obtain our uh, binary mask as you can see here the white zone is the region our region of interest the sample and in black we have a uh, background uh, the the region that we we will eliminate from the image and when we uh, when this mask is created we can apply it to the correspondent image to select the region of and the third step is the unfolding of hyperspectral image from 3D to 2D spectral matrix. For the, the unfolding, each plane in the image, hyperspectral image, will be unfolding to one colon uh, in the spectral matrix in two dimensions. For example, for the first plane, the first row will be a uh, uh, folded to uh, the part of one colon, or the first columns of the matrix, and the second row of this plan will be uh, placed above the first part, and so on, so on. And we did the same thing for the uh, for the other uh, plant. And in the end of uh, unfolded uh, process, we get our uh, spectral matrix with uh, X per y uh, uh, number of rows which is uh, represent the number of pixels in our initial image and z is the number of columns which represent the number of wavelength for the last uh, step which is application of statistical analysis uh, uh, chemometrics method to extract relevant information. When we get our uh, 2D spectral matrix, we can apply um, statistical uh, method to explore our uh, spectra. For the, for example, for uh, for the detection of groups or outliers to eliminate from the spectra. And when we did this work, we can go to the third steps, calibration, and we can develop regression model between us, our uh, spectral matrix X and Y, which, uh, y uh, vector, is, which is um, uh, which contain laboratory values, which is, it, it could be dry matter, protein, or starch. And when we develop our uh, model of regression, we can validate it in uh, the fourth steps by uh, with the independent sample different uh, different from the sample uh, that we, we we use it for the calibration uh, by the estimation of uh, our uh, error of prediction of prediction when this uh, model is validated we can use it uh, in routine for the high throughput phenotyping and now for the application uh, example of application of hyperspectral imaging on YAM. The first uh, case case of application is the visualization of cooking the green of boiled YAM. To do this work, uh, hyperspectral imaging acquired on YAM slice at uh, 0, 10, 20, 25, 30, and 35 minutes after boil it. And uh, next, we did the image analysis and development of statistical mo model for detection of uh, cooking degrees. And, and then we project our hyperspectral image on this model. And in the end, we obtain the detection map with the false color, as you can see here. Um, the scale here for, go from the hard blue uh, which uh, represent um, low uh, low cooking degrees to the hard red, which represents high cooking degrees. 
as you can see in this image, the, the, the cooking degrees uh, increase from the center of slice to the edge uh, from uh, zero uh, before cooking to 24 uh, uh, minutes uh, uh, of boiling. And uh, the uh, cooking degree reached the maximum at uh, 35. And, um, and it, it is almost, uh, almost finished. finished. And the second uh, case of application is the quantification of dry matter in yam tuber during the storage. For this work, we acquired a hyperspectral image uh, and dry, and we did the dry matter measurement in the laboratory and zero, th 30 and 60 day of storage. And then we did image analysis and development of statistical model for the quantification of dry matter. And when this model is uh, validated, we project our hyperspectral images on, on the model for uh, the quantification of dry matter. And we, in the end, we get our uh, quantifications of uh, dry matter map with four scorer, and as you can see here. Uh, as you can see here, we, uh, we see that um, the, the, the spatial the distribution of uh, dry matter content is uh, heterogeneous in the slice. Dry matter content is um, higher in the edge than the center. Uh, and uh, the, we see also that the dry matter content incre uh, increase from the edge to the center to reach the maximum the level in the 20, 60 days of storage. And in 60 days of storage, the dry matter, uh, dry matter content, uh, special distribution of dry matter content is uh, more uh, homogeneous than three, 30 days or zero days of storage. Thank you for your attention.